143. Exultation is the going of an inland soul to sea, past the houses, past the headlands, into deep eternity. Bred as we among the mountains, can the sailor understand the divine intoxication of the first league out from land? 144. I never hear the word escape without a quicker blood, a sudden expectation, a flying attitude. I never hear of prisons broad by soldiers battered down, but I tug childish at my bars only to fail again. 145. A little east of Jordan, evangelists record, a gymnast and an angel did wrestle long and hard, till morning touching mountain and Jacob waxing strong. The angel begged permission to breakfast to return. Not so, said cunning Jacob, I will not let thee go, except thou bless me, stranger, the witch acceded to. Light swung the silver fleeces, penial hills beyond, and the bewildered gymnast found he had worsted God. 146. All overgrown by cunning moss, all interspersed with weed, the little cage of currer-bell in quiet hawthor laid, this bird observing others, when frosts too sharp became, retired to other latitudes, quietly did the same, but differed in returning, since Yorkshire hills are green, yet not in all the nests I meet can nightingale be seen. 147. A science, so the savants say, comparative anatomy, by which a single bone is made a secret to unfold of some rare tenant of the mold, else perished in the stone. So to the eye prospective led this meekest flower of the mead, upon a winter's day stands representative in gold of rose and lily manifold and countless butterfly. 148. Will there really be a morning? Is there such a thing as day? Could I see it from the mountains, if I were as tall as they? Has it feet like water lilies? Has it feathers like a bird? Is it brought from famous countries of which I have never heard? O oh, some scholar, O oh, some sailor, O oh, some wise man, from the skies, please to tell a little pilgrim where the place called morning lies. 149. Great Caesar, condescend the daisy to receive, gathered by Cato's daughter with your majestic leave. 150. Like her the saints retire in their chapeau of fire martial as she. Like her, the evening steel, purple and cockneal after the day. Departed both, they say, i.e. gathered away, not found. Argues the aster still, reasons the daffodil, profound. 151. Papa above, regard a mouse, overpowered by the cat. Reserve within thy kingdom a mansion for the rat, snug in seraphic cupboards to nibble all the day, while unsuspecting cycles wheel solemnly away. 152. Twas such a little, little boat that toddled down the bay. Twas such a gallant, gallant sea that beckoned it away. Twas such a greedy, greedy wave that licked it from the coast, nor ever guessed 
the stately sails, my little craft was lost. 153. Sown in dishonor, ah, indeed, may this dishonor be? If I were half so fine myself, I'd notice nobody. Sown in corruption, not so fast. Apostle is askew. Corinthians 1.15 narrates a circumstance or two. 154. She died. This was the way she died. And when her breath was done, took up her simple wardrobe and started for the sun. Her little figure at the gate, the angels must have spied, since I could never find her upon the mortal side.